You know what? I really hate drawing perspective from scratch and partly because I never learned the right way or it just takes too long. Luckily, there is an easier way to do this on iPad and you can do it in less than 10 minutes without going to art school, having any design experience, or if you think you're not great at drawing. So let me show you how to whip up this interior concept using a one point perspective. This is one point, two point, and three point perspective. One point is probably a lot easier to get started. It's just one vanishing point and everything else remains vertical. Let's say I'm putting my vanishing point just in the middle of the page here. That's all you need to do in terms of setting the perspective tool for a one point. In this little cog right here, you can turn on the grid, which when you do, you can start to see these, these lines converge to this point. You can also turn on this guide. This guide is sometimes useful, not often. The, the thing that you do want to have on is this assisted toggle because without this on, you're basically just drawing freehand and mm -hmm. not utilizing the built-in perspective feature. You're only okay. seeing the perspective lines. So mm -hmm. when you have this assisted guide turned on, if you're building something and you're not sure how it's going to look, just have a layer dedicated to towards sketching. So maybe that's even with a, like a pencil. So it's not super hard line. So let's say this is our mm -hmm. perspective. Looks like you have a back wall. Mm -hmm. So this back wall is like that. And then, then these are the side walls. It looks like you have it's like a desk. You have like a you have like a, <laughs> oh, like a thing cool. right here, right? And then you have a desk on this side. Okay. And just it's super fun because yeah. it, the perspective is figured out for you. And oh uh, I think that's a door over here. And so this I'm treating this as like a practice layer. And I don't know, there's a computer here or something, right? And there's something you may have to actually draw freehand, maybe just draw a chair like this. But if you're showing big ideas, I think this can get you to that place pretty quickly. And maybe there's, I don't know, some light on the roof, or maybe this is like a track lighting where you just kind of have light lights like that. But everything is kind of built in perspective. And then you can draw in your wood flooring or the planks. I would use this first layer as a red line. And then maybe your second layer, you can start to ink it a little bit more carefully, put yeah. some color or decor, but you can yeah. see how quickly I, I did this. This wouldn't be too scale. Yeah. <laughs> this is the same as drawing on paper. When you want to draw things to scale, the best thing I teach is just to have a model, build the model very roughly, like build the walls to a height, build the counter height, just block it out so you can add details to it. And here is the full screen recording. Enjoy.